Hey everyone, it's Adam, and today I'm going to show you our tutorial of how to do this effect. Uh, yeah, this effect in uh, GIMP. GIMP is basically a free version of Photoshop. Uh, it is I use it for pretty much all my photos. I sometimes use Sony Vegas, but this is the GIMP way of how to do it. And I I personally think GIMP's a lot easier for photos than Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is probably more for video effects um, so you're gonna open up GIMP um, for some reason I don't know why I don't have a um, layers thing I don't know what they're called I just downloaded this I, I probably got the wrong version I need to update it something but uh, you don't really need that anyway so what I'm gonna do is file um, open and I'm gonna just find a Hmm, I'm going to find one. SD. Right, I'm just going to find a photo of me uh, doing the eye thing. So, I think that was the old one. I, right, I'm going to go for this one actually. Yeah. This this was it originally. And uh, I, I look very odd in this. So, what you're going to do now, file new. And this is the same. Width and height will be the same as this picture. You can have it in any, to be honest with it. This is what I think the quality will come up better if it's the same size. You go to this tool here, which is called Fuzzy Select Tool. Um, select the white. You go to. Uh, wait, let me think. Yeah, what is it? When when you're going step by step, you often forget. Okay. Layer. Oh right, yeah. Okay. You go to layer, then transparency, then add alpha channel. You click it again and you press delete and then you get transparent next up um, you select a color so for the blue one you can use a red one um, I'm gonna go with I think I'll go with red this time actually red to have red eyes um, and then you go to the pen tool you, you scale it to a I'm gonna scale it a bit bigger you can have it as what you want so and then you just draw a few circles um, yeah, just like make it fairly eye shaped. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, and then you go to filters, blur, Glassian blur, and you just find where it is on the preview. Uh, okay, there it is. And I'm gonna just make it really blurred. Like. I'm gonna put a bit more, and then you click OK, and then you see it's kind of blurred and odd looking. Uh, and then what I do is you select the white, yeah, just select white, and then you do it again, but ever so small. So I'm just gonna do one little pet like that, and you repeat it again. Uh, blur glasses blur. You don't use that because it gets rid of it. So then you turn it down, turn it. Down from the about that, um, and then actually, I'm gonna just redo that. I'm gonna redo my pen thing so it's a bit more of the shape of the eye. And then you go to you know, filters, blur, glossiest blur, I think a bit more, and then okay, and then you've got this kind of like glowing red eye thing then what I do is you cut it out with this tool which is called the free select tool it's next to the circle you just like cut out some components and double click and it makes this little little select then edit copy visible and you go to the picture and then edit and paste and then you can move it by using the Move tool, and um, I'm going to click move it, move active layer, and move it into the right place you want. And I think that looks good, even like that. You can resize if you want it bigger or correct. And then I'm going to repeat it, so edit paste, and maybe turn it around so it looks more of the shape. Rotate, and then move it. And there you have it your finished picture 
and you can do what, what else more you want you know like I've um I like to make the um, brightness a bit lower and, and darker if you're doing this make it like that I think that looks really cool and professional um, but uh, tell me what you guys think if uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial blah, blah, if you enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up I think I might do some more tutorials on here because a lot of people always ask me about how I do my video effects and photo effects and um, yeah enjoy bye